Hey guys. Hey all you Gretas and she Tez Cats out there. Um, welcome to section five of your notes. This is going to be a super short one. This is systems and feedback loops. Um, fairly simple, but you got to get these two concepts down because these will come about many times over the course of this course. So let's look at this. A system. And this goes along with page 19 and 20 of your packet. A system, a set of components that function and interact in some regular way. So you can think of something as easy as a human body, a river, an economy. So you have three key components. You have your inputs from the environment. Um, then you're going to have flows or throughputs of matter and energy. Um, let's move me down here. Within the system at certain rates. And then we have outputs to the environment. So something as simple as energy in. You have your digestion. Um, and it comes out as heat. Um, you have matter going into something. Um, let's put gasoline in a car. The car takes you places, um, but then you do have waste and pollution and heat. Um, information goes in. Your brain does that nifty thinking thing, um, and goods and services can come out. So you've got lots of different options for this system. So you have stuff that goes in. You have a process that happens, and then you have stuff that comes out. All right. Now, feedback loops. This is any process that is either going to increase, which is positive feedback, or decrease uh, negative feedback, a change to a system. Um, so if you have a positive feedback loop, it's going to keep adding on. So let's say I have a tiny little snowball at the top of a hill and I roll it down the hill. That snowball is going to get bigger because it gathers more snow, which is going to have it grow, roll faster and gather more snow and get bigger and roll faster and get more snow and get bigger. So that would be a positive feedback loop because it keeps going in one direction. Or you can have a negative feedback loop. And this is when it comes back to kind of the baseline. So something happens to throw it out of whack and then it comes back down. You get cold at your house, you put on a sweatshirt, you get warm again. You get too hot, you take off the sweatshirt, you get cool again, but you come back to that baseline. Now, one thing I want to just put in your brains, I hope, is positive feedback loops aren't necessarily good and negative feedback loops aren't necessarily bad. Positive just means you keep going in one direction and negative means you keep going back to that original thing. The other example I give for a positive feedback loop is I get my paycheck. I don't spend all my money, so I build interest. That puts more money into my account, which allows me to build more interest, which gives me more money in my account, which allows me to build more interest. That would be a positive feedback loop. A negative feedback loop is if I get my paycheck and all of my bills automatically deduct. And so now I have no more money left in my account, but my bills are paid. And then next payday, I get my deposit, my account goes up, and then all my bills get paid. So I have an increase and it comes back down. So once again, positive, you keep going in one direction, negative, you do not. Um, there is a video that follows this. I'm not gonna play it on my video because that's just silly. Go ahead and watch it in the plain notes version. We are going to be doing an activity on Monday and Tuesday as well that has to do with feedback loops. All of those examples are on Canvas already. So my virtual people can be working on them. My in-class people can look at them. Uh, you will see them all Monday or Tuesday, whichever day I see you. Um, so you guys can have questions asked and answered then. But if you take a look at them ahead of time, you might have better questions when you see me so you're not seeing it for the first time. All right, nice and quick and easy notes. So before I go, I want to remind each and every one of you that you are good enough, you are smart enough, and people do like you. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good God, do your homework.